Hi everyone, I'm Michael Hakarainen and I'd like to welcome you to UENPD TV episode number two. Today I'm coming to you from southern Utah in an area called Red Cliffs Recreational Area. As you can see behind me, I'm down in one of the slot canyons. And I decided to stop here to talk a little bit about change. As you can see, there's some change going on behind me. This water is running through the rocks in the canyon and changing the shape of the canyon. And over millions of years, this change is absolutely amazing. But the reality is change actually happens over a long period of time and usually in small little bits. And we have one small little change to the Pioneer Library, its name. It is now known as the Utah Online Library. And as I told media specialists from the Southern Utah Media Specialist Conference that were down here yesterday, all the same great tools that you've come to know and love are still available in the Utah Online Library and maybe some more that you didn't know about. So in this episode, we're gonna to talk to you with Jared Fawson and Danny Sloan about some of the great features available in the Utah Online Library. All right, Danny, we're okay. here to talk about Pioneer. Oh, dang it. We have a little jar here just in case we say Pioneer Library because there's been a name change if you haven't heard, and it is now Utah's Online Library. And so throughout our production, if we happen to say that other word, we'll add to our collection for lunch. So Danny, tell us a little bit about the website we've got here. All right, so we have Utah's online library and there are many ways to access it. So we wanna show you some of those ways. The first way is if you just come to uen.org and right here under the pre-K-12 education, there's a link to Utah's online library. What if I click on the toolbox? Also in the toolbox, great idea, let's go there. First things first, and then if we scroll, to the very bottom, there's also a link to Utah's online library. I almost said the other word again. And that and that's on any page in the UEN.org. UE if you scroll to the bottom of it, you'll have these same links on all of them and you can just go right to the library there. And you can see we have a beautiful new logo and branding for Utah's online library. Kind of looks like an open book. It does. So one of the things I, I like most about Utah's online library is we it's set up we've got three kind of distinctions here the general reference collection which is where most of the databases are going to be like ebsco and the gale reference collection then you've got your utah centered items here and then additional library sources that sometimes people don't ever click on because they're clear over here on the right but thinkfinity the national archives these are fantastic places for not only teachers, but your students to go and get lots of great resources. Danny, what do you want to add? All right, my favorite tool in Utah's online library is definitely the Gale Reference Collection, and I know a lot of teachers love culture grams. Okay, Danny, this is fantastic that we, you know, the page is ready to go and all the resources are there. How are we gonna let all these other teachers and librarians know about the name change? It's a really good question. We are going on a library tour. Um, so we're gonna try and hit every corner of the state. And if you wanna find out when we're coming near you, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down on uen.org to underneath the news section, click on more news, and then go to Utah's online library. And you'll see, here's the new information. And there's a Google form that you can fill out to register to come to one of our presentations. You can see we're Heaver, Logan, Orem, St. George, Vernal, West Jordan, Richfield, and Salt Lake City. Hopefully there's a place that's near you. So go ahead and sign on to that and RSVP for Utah's online library tour. I think there's one more thing we need to show and that's what happens if you do type in pioneer.utah. Uh, you gotta put Pioneer. money in. I had to put money in. Lunch. Okay, so if you're just gonna type it in the old way, pioneer.uen.org, watch what happens. The magic takes you right to the online library. So you don't have to put money in your own jar. Thanks for joining us today. Thank you. Do you guys wanna do like a little dance like we did last time? Inside, out of the frame, in the frame, out of the frame. Actually, you're in the frame the whole time. Oh, dang it. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jared and Danny, for sharing all that great information about the name change to Utah's online library. Next week on episode three, 
Uh, we're going to be summarizing what happened at the USEF conference, which is happening in our time on Thursday and Friday of this week. So if you see this before March 17th and 18th, go to USEF.org and sign up. Make sure you come to this conference. It's going to be awesome. There's over a thousand teachers signed up so far to see presentations all day, keynote speakers like Thurl Bailey. Uh, who's Thurl Bailey then? Uh, former jazz basketball player. And uh, Ginger Lumen will also be a keynote speaker on Friday talking about makerspace movement and Jimmy Sauer and all that great stuff. So hopefully we saw you there, and if we didn't, we'll show you what you missed next week on UEN TV. TV. Thank you. Yo! No, <laughs> how do we do we should be like, you, 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 oh. You mean like, you know how cheerleaders do it? Like they make like a you. Yeah. Yo. Was it rolling? I hope it was rolling. It was. <laughs>